Hello everyone. Today we're going to walk through how to void a check or payment and reverse a bill in Accounts Payable. So as you can see, I've logged into my multi-entity shared environment. This tab here is for my top level and I've slid into one of my entities. Now, really where this type of activity happens is after a check, for example, has been confirmed, then where do you go to actually go and void that particular check if you didn't do that during the printing stage? So the first way to go is to hover over Accounts Payable, hover over the word Registers, and click on Check Register. You can put in various parameters here to run this report, but we're going to go ahead and just select the reporting period as of current month, as of today's date, and we're going to go ahead and click View. Once we view this, it's going to bring us to the check register list that will show us all the checks that have been either uh, confirmed or voided. So as you can see, there's a little hyperlink here associated with the void where we can go in and click the void button, which I'll do, and it's going to open up another tab with the void payment area. Now remember, this is specific to checks. So there are some important details in here. The date, the check number, the vendor that's associated as well as the amount, and we're going to want to put in the, pay, the, the actual voided of the payment date. So if I put in 221 here, this will be the payment date void. Now what's also important is there's a optional section down below that fits a business case where, let's just say, the check should have never went out to the vendor, and in fact, an incorrect bill was entered on behalf of the vendor. It should have been for a different vendor. So to fit that business case, we're going to void the check here, and we can optionally reverse the bill by selecting this reverse button and putting our reverse as of date in here and clicking the Submit button. So we performed two activities all in one step, and as you can see, that $1,000 was voided. Now, this is specific to the check register. However, the other way to void payment, so let's just say it's a wire transfer that was approved, would be to go to Cash Management, hover over Registers, and click on Bank Register. The bank Register is really a good spot kind of a staging area for all activity. I'm going to run this as of current month, as of today's date, and go ahead and click the View button. And this is going to show me the same amount of activity as the check register plus more. Of course, it's going to include all the activity. So in this case, that other $1,000 check that I had available I can hit the void button and it's also going to bring me to the same exact spot. When am I going to void this particular check? And In this case, I'm going to go ahead and void it as of today's date. I can put in an optional memo if I wanted to. And this time, I'm not going to reverse the bill. Maybe I want to just pay this check or pay this, put this payment in at a different date. I'm going to go ahead and hit the submit button and it's going to have the same characteristic. Those are the two ways to void payments or checks in intact and reverse them all in the same step. 